Elizabeth from Rose Barn Embroidery Designs and today the tutorial that we're going to be doing is the double clutch bag, um, the double zipper bag, sorry. Um, that is the one with two zippers. This is the vertical one. Today I'm actually going to be doing the 2.0 which is the horizontal one. But it's going to be the same idea for both of these bags. They're going to be very similar. Um, so we're going to go over the steps. And the steps are also very similar for the double clutch bag, except for you will not be doing this top part. So I don't know if you guys can see. So this top part will not be in the clutch. Um, it'll be same steps though, um, just without this top part. We'll go over that. And if you guys still are a little confused, I can definitely do a tutorial on the clutch bag. So today we are gonna go ahead and get started. So if you wanted to follow along and do a bag with me, uh, go ahead and gather your supplies and we will go ahead and get started. All right, so now that you gathered your supplies, these are the supplies you're gonna be needing. I'm also gonna be showing you how to do the pocket on the back. So first, get your hoop, get your stabilizer. I like to use cutaway. I do two layers on my hoop because I just feel like it's a little bit more sturdier and you make sure you have it nice and taut. You'll hear the drum. Two zippers. So this is the double, so two zippers. You're gonna have your top, front, your middle, your um, bottom, and this is gonna be the back, the lining, and as well as the pocket. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead, we'll run our first step on um, the hoop, which is gonna be our tack down for our zippers. All right, we now ran the tack down, so we're gonna put our zippers in. Again, put the zippers how you guys want them. I always do it this way, because I'm right-handed. It's easier for me. Um, but if you're left-handed, sometimes it's easier if you put the zipper this way, but it's a personal preference. Go ahead. Grab your tape. And yes, you are gonna do both zippers at this um, at this step. And if you're like me, you tend to be perfectionist. All right, now that we have them taped in, let's bring them back to the hoop and we'll run our placement stitch for the zipper. Now that we ran our placement for the zipper, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run the placement stitch for the top of the bag. Now that we have our placement stitch, we're gonna go ahead and put the top part of our bag on. And since this is knit fabric, I'm doing a little bit of a hack and putting those there. Line it up with my zipper. Which is not cooperating with me. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run our tack down. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this from our hoop. We're gonna put the back on. All right, so we're gonna put the back lining for this. So we're gonna flip our hoop over, take our back lining. That looks good. Tape is your friend. I know some people like to baste it using the basting spray. This is the spray I use. I don't like doing that on my bags. Unless I'm doing embroidery on the front, then I baste it, but this one doesn't have anything on the front with like applicates or anything, so we're just gonna 
tape it. Once we taped it, let's return it back to our hoop. All right, now that we have it back in our hoop, we're gonna go ahead and run the next stitch for tacking down the lining. Now that we ran that stitch, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run our placement stitch for our middle piece. All right, now that we have the tack down, we can go ahead and put our top part on. Now, for this in particular step, you need to make sure you have both ironed down. The reason why is so that way you don't have fraying, and if you're not using uh, knit fabric, because knit fabric doesn't exactly fray like woven does, it'll have those little flyaways. So, but you still want to make sure you have them both um, ironed all the way down. Once you have it in place. So you want to make sure it's about, for this one, this is the 8 by 12, so it's, you want to make sure it's about 2 inches wide all the way across. Some of it, for me, is a little bit more than 2 inches, but that's okay as long as it's covering your placement stitch right here, because that's where the stitch is going to go ahead and run along. So at this point, go ahead, you're going to run the tack down for this part. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it off the hoop. We're gonna put our lining part on next for the middle. So we're gonna take our lining. Now this is woven, so it's, or quilter's cotton, depending on what you wanna call it. It has the flyaways. That's why I say you wanna make sure you have both sides ironed, so that way you have that nice seam. Get your tape, tape down. We're gonna return it back to the hoop. Now, all right, now we're gonna run our tack down for the middle part. All right, now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and run the placement stitch for our bottom. All right, now we're gonna put, put our fabric down right here. I'm gonna cut a little bit of a big piece. And now, after we have it placed, we're gonna go ahead and run our uh, tack down stitch. All right, now that we have our placement, we're going to, we have to do the inside lining. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take it off the hoop and we'll uh, do the lining part. All right, now we're off the hoop. We're gonna do our lining. We're gonna flip it back over. And get our lining. And pull it up to there. We're almost to the fun part. If we tape it down, let's go ahead and return it back to the hoop. We'll get the tack down done, and then it'll be the fun part. All right, let's go ahead and run our tack down. All right, now that we have that step, 
what we're going to do here, we're, we're going to go ahead and take this back. We're going to take it back to our table. We are going to go ahead and get started on our first pocket. All right, are you guys ready? We're going to start our first pocket. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bottom zipper. We are going to move it in the middle. This is crucial. You want, you need to do it right here. Now we flip it over. We take our lining fabric. Now there are two ways we can do this. So the first way we're going to do this is you can go ahead and tape it right here. You want to make sure it's above this line. This is crucial. Crucial. You want to make sure it's above that line. And then you can tape it, put it back on the hoop and you can run that stitch or you can do it this way, which is the way I'm going to do it. Because if you do it this way, you won't see the stitches. Take your tape, tape in place. Put a little tape down here just to be safe. Now we're going to take it back to the hoop. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the stitch for our inside lining of our front, our front pocket. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take it back off of the hoop. Um, and there's a reason for it because we got to flip our um, lining over. All right, you ready to see this? We're going to flip it over. There's your stitching for your pocket. Your pocket's right inside. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the tape. All right, pocket one done. Now we're going to run our stitches for our handles. So let's bring it back to the hoop or to the machine. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and run our placement stitches for our handles. All right, so we're going to go ahead and attach our handles. You're just going to go ahead and just put them over your stitching. And now we're going to go ahead and run our uh, our placement stitch for that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull in our next zipper. You want to do about quarter, halfway. Then we're going to put our back pocket on. So we're going to have a pocket. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your outside lining is facing your bag. So in this case, I put my outside lining and then I went ahead and I sewed two pieces together and I have my back fabric. So this will be on the inside of my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down right here. That looks like a good spot for the pocket to be. I'm not gonna put batting on this one just because I'm already doing this pocket and it's already pretty thick with um, the knit fabric. So I'm just not gonna go ahead and do that. Our next step after that is to go ahead and put our back fabric on. You want to make sure you're within it. If you can get it as flat as possible. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and run down, run your tuck down for these.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove this from our hoop. We're gonna put our lining for the inside on, and then we're gonna run our final step. All right, guys, we're almost done. We're gonna flip this behind. Nicely put it over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring this back to our hoop and we're gonna run our final stitch. All right, so we're running our final step. All right, now that it's done, let's go ahead, let's take it off. Let's take our hoop off and let's do our finishing steps. All right, guys, we are now finished with the embroidery part, so let's go ahead we can take it out of our hoop now. Let's go ahead and we're gonna remove our tape. Some people cut with the tape, I don't. I don't like to. And the reason for it is I just don't want it to get on my scissors. So now we have our opening, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our notches. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start right here. And I'm gonna cut around. So we're done with our first part of our cutting. I always have a little trash pile that I put together. Go ahead. Cut what's manageable. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip our bag through. Same idea as the clutch and every other zipper bag. All right, so we are done flipping it inside out. We're going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and fold this part in. And if you really wanna see which I'm gonna do it. For me, it doesn't matter since this is going my daughter. Just go ahead and cut. Gonna seal the back. I like to use hem tape, I think is what it's called. And then I wanted to show you guys. See, now you don't see any stitches. Now, if you don't mind seeing the stitches, you can go ahead and just put it down. But sometimes I don't like seeing the stitches. These ones don't bother me as much, but this one, for some reason, I felt like was gonna bother me, so. And then we're going to cut our hole. Alright, now we're going to take our zipper and zip it. There you go. You have your first pocket done. There's your second pocket. Now we're going to open up this one. We're just going to poke a hole in our cutaway. And there you have it. There's your second pocket and your first pocket. And they don't. There you go. Now all you have to do is add some straps and you guys got a new purse. So there you guys have it. Your double zipper in the hoop bag. I will leave the link um, for this in particular bag. The 2. This is the 2.0. If you guys also want the original, the vertical one, I'll, also, I'll put that link in there as well. We also do have the bundle on the website. 
Um, if you have any other questions, feel free. Um, ask in the group. You can email me at roseburnembroiderdesigns at gmail.com or you can email our business page on Facebook or you can ask a question in the group. And there's a ton of people that can help out with any questions that you guys may have. So have fun. Can't wait to see what you guys all come up with.